Good morning. Today our text is 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31. And whatever you do, do to the glory of God. Our heading, Holy Commission. Feel the sacred energy of the Holy Spirit leading us in the prescribed path. How safe we feel and how happy in our conscience if we are certain that we have the authority of the great King for all our actions. When a Christian can say concerning any course of conduct, I'm bidden to do this by Christ Jesus my Lord, I can find chapter and verse to authorize my acts when he can feel that he is working for Christ and not for himself with a single eye to the glory of God and not with sinister aims and selfish motives, then he treads as on a rock and defiles the censures of his enemies. So firstly, let us then take good heed to our Lord's words and walk carefully in his commands, for then his authority protects us, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment we shall condemn. This rule of acting under the authority of Christ is applicable in all emphatic sense to those who are called to special service in the kingdom of God. Every man is called to do all the good he can, but some men are set apart to labor in peculiar departments of Christian work. For example, if a ship were stranded and breaking up and the crew were already and ready to perish, we are all of us authorized to do all we can to save the shipwreck. But the men who belong to the lifeboats department, appointed crew, have a right to come to the fore and take the oars and put out to sea. They are authorized to lead the way in daring and danger. Secondly, so my brethren, those of you who have felt the divine call within you, the sacred impulse which compels you to devote yourself to the salvation of your fellow men, you may do it boldly and without apology. Your authority is from Christ, for the Holy Spirit has set you apart for, for the work and application. Push to the very front, you men of God, filled with daring and self-sacrifice. For if others should impute your zeal to evil motives, the Lord who reads the hearts understand you, and having given you a commission, he will not fail to vindicate his faithful servants. And I pray, thank you, Father, for this. In Jesus' name, amen.